Here's what would happen if you fell into a black hole. Approaching the black hole, you'd be pulled in by its immense gravity. As you get closer and closer, the tidal forces would grow. These are the differences in gravity between your head and your feet. When they're greater than the nuclear forces holding you together, you get stretched thin like spaghetti. This is called spaghettification. Next, you'd cross the event horizon, the point of no return. Not even light can escape from inside the horizon. To someone far away watching, it would appear as though you were slowing down as you approached the horizon. Eventually, you'd appear to freeze in place and then fade from view over immense time. However, this is only true for an outside observer. For you, crossing the horizon would be relatively uneventful. That is, if the black hole is large enough, you wouldn't feel a sudden jolt or anything like that. Once inside the horizon, space and time swap roles. Your future is inevitably directed towards the singularity. You can't stop or turn around. You're pulled towards the center of the black hole at a speed close to the speed of light. As you approach the singularity, the distortion of space becomes more and more wild. Light from the outside universe would appear very distorted and focused into a bright ring above you. The tidal forces would peak, ripping and tearing you apart long before you reach the singularity, which is the point of infinite density at the center of the black hole. At this point, your mass and energy would be added to the black hole. But the ultimate fate of the information that was you remains one of physics' biggest mysteries. If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe. Thanks for watching.